Flint, Michigan, once one of the most prosperous cities in the state of Michigan. Over the last century, this city has experienced much of the same rise and fall that nearby Detroit has, with some differences. Going from the second largest city in Michigan to the seventh, it has seen much change. This is what happened to Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan started off as a small lumber town in its early history, but it was in 1908 that GM founder William Durant established his company's first headquarters there. Though this headquarters would eventually be relocated to Detroit in the 1920s, it did not affect the city's ability to become a juggernaut in the auto industry. Flint would become a hub of activity, hosting various production divisions of GM throughout the 20th century. The population ballooned from roughly 13,000 in 1900 to 156,000 by 1930, peaking in 1960 at around 197,000. During this peak period, millions were donated to establish the Flint Cultural Center, which featured various art and educational institutions. A reflection of the city's wealth and success in the mid-20th century, this area remains today. Though Flint had reached this massive level of success economically and sustained it for quite a while, it wasn't to last. As with most Rust Belt cities, the latter decades of the 20th century would not be kind to Flint. However, Flint's decline would be of the most severe proportions for a smaller sized Rust Belt city. Much like nearby Detroit, there would be job losses, population losses, and urban decay. When the 1973 oil embargo pushed consumers to foreign and more fuel efficient cars, it was the beginning of the end of the city's dominance. The amount of employees GM had in the city at its peak in 1978 was 80,000, roughly half of the entire city's population at the time. This would shrink to only about 8,000 over the next 32 years. Automation, increased competition, outsourcing, and other factors had their toll, and Flint's population steadily declined anywhere from 6.7 to 18% every decade since 1970. Crime rose and also took its toll. The Buick City plant was one of the biggest casualties of the decline. This large plant, consisting of over 200 acres, was mostly closed in 1999, with some work continuing until 2010. The plant closures and bad fortunes of Flint would continue into the 2010s, with more plant closures, most notably Flint North Powertrain, which had been open for 105 years. As if things couldn't get any worse for the city, the Flint water crisis would begin in 2014 and continue all the way until 2019. This attempt at changing the sourcing of Flint's water from Lake Huron and the Detroit River to the Flint River was a failure from the start, which resulted in elevated levels of lead and chlorine in the water supply. But what really happened to Flint begins and ends with General Motors. Despite being the home of much of the company's beginnings, the company essentially turned its back on the city. Much of what was once made in Flint is now made elsewhere. Much of these same problems plagued other cities, However, there were very few that were so dependent on one company as Flint was to GM. Other factors such as the crime rate and the water crisis have only exacerbated the city's woes. And it remains to be seen where the city can go from here. Thank you for watching.